evening folks, Miami Beach Autos here. Today we've got a cop route to it, a backstory to it. And what appears to be good policing actually proves how corrupt they really are when you know the backstory. The driver of this car was let go and he wasn't allowed to drive it home. They were waiting by the car when he approached it. Got a, another pseudo traffic stop like we did with uh, the van the other day. The car was parked. One cop was sitting there waiting for them to return. Y'all <laughs> ass fucked up. How much y'all sleep? And when they came back, four more cops came down and they stopped them as they got into the car. Now, I didn't see a lot of what I got on the film. Milo was a would-be passenger. They let the driver and the passenger go and I didn't notice this. So I was busy trying to get the phone in the gimbal hole. And there goes Milo Richard, the phone smasher. That guy has smashed two of my phones. The best place is to be serial killer shit. That's serial killer, bitch. That's it in the motherfucking house. Hey, what Try and get the gimbal out here. Assembling it in uh, putting it on the phone, or putting the phone in it while filming, which is not real easy, especially when I got a bunch of people walking through the shot. Here, I think I'm missing a piece here. It's supposed to be a side right Oh, there we go. Now I can get it in there. All right, now we got it. Now I can try and get closer. have is four cops, two who are leading on the subject vehicle. There's nobody in the subject vehicle. And there was when I put the phone down and put it in the gimbal. So I'm guessing they're in the back of one of the cars. subject because they're both running. This is one five zero three six. Hey! 
And this is one three zero one five. And it doesn't appear there's a subject in the back of either of the two that are running. Try to get a look through the windshield of this one. So you can... <laughs> if there is a subject in the car, he's in that one. doesn't appear to be anything going on here, except a meeting among the four of them. So I'm going to attribute this to B-roll footage because I missed the removal of the subject from the car while I was assembling my gimbal. And I'm just going to take off. Now the day after I shot this, I ran into Officer Rodriguez, that's the female you see in the earlier part of this video, in Starbucks. And I asked her about what had happened. She admitted to knowing that Milo had a felony warrant, but said she couldn't arrest him because she had no reason to ID him and find out who he was. Rodriguez, by the way, is the same female cop who refused to ID and uh, pointed out the no trespassing sign in an earlier video called bullied, harassed, and intimidated. Link in the description. Okay, now they're going back to their cars and they're leaving. You notice how he deliberately walks into the shot, white t-shirt, blue shorts. We know who he is. Here he comes again.
three. And here goes number four. Miami Beach audits. I'm out of here. I'll see you on the next one. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and leave a comment in the comment section because it helps the algorithm.